Okay, let's get started. I wanted to see what kind of COBOL compilers were available for us. So if we do a quick Google search, we can see besides Co COBOL being a little old, we've got an open source version. Um, we have this online COBOL. That looks interesting. Oh, it's a tutorials point feature. So that does look really awesome. You can use their website to do some learning. So you'll want to do that to supplement what we're doing here. Now we have some other compilers, um, free and some that cost money. You know, I'm just kind of one of those people. I'll just go ahead and go with our open source version. So let's take a look at that. GNU COBOL. It's been around for a while. Looks like it's got a, quite a few people interested in it here recently. Let's go ahead and download it. Now I can tell you that I'm just going to let that run. I've already downloaded it. So I've downloaded it a few times as you can see. And it is a 7-zip file. So for me, I did also have to download 7-zip to get that utility. I copied the 7-zip file from my downloads folder to a folder that is going to be my work folder for this project, my COBOL folder. Then I use 7-zip to extract the files. The, the extracted folder then, I can browse. And I see that there's a doc folder. I'd like to see some documentation here. I think I can find some online too. And there is a PDF document available. And in the manual, it's very, very interesting. And I've used this one a lot. They start out with a Hello World program and tell us how to compile it. And this is going to be an awesome resource for us. Unfortunately, we have to get our compiler installed and working somewhere before we can do that. So we have to do some installation. So as I was looking around through the folder, I'm going to close this SourceForge window. It was getting pretty busy there behind us, wasn't it? As I look through the COBOL folder, um, I look at the README and I look at some of the other documentation that's available. I see that a lot of it looks to be um, very Linux oriented. And yes, I downloaded this COBOL compiler that's supposed to be for Windows. I do see a build for Windows folder, but all in all, it looks very Linux oriented. So it seems like it might be a little bit easier if I had a Linux environment to use this utility in. And I can do that with Windows. So in Windows, I'm going to go to Control Panel. And I am using the old Control Panel. And I want to go to Programs and Features. I want to use the Turn Windows Features On or Off option. And at the bottom of the Windows Features, I want to turn on the Windows subsystem for Linux. I'm going to check that box and click OK. Should install that facility for me on Windows. And then I have to restart my machine. So let's restart and I'll see you right back. 